Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakadash, and double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, and to speckled bear Israelites that are scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth that look like the heathen the nations. So y'all say Shalom, and Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning to these videos. And shall warm to all you brothers that are out there laboring, out there on the highways and byways, out there on the streets, doing the work of the Lord, and that's magnifying the names of Yahweh, which is the name of who the world and really calls God, and that's magnifying the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the true and only name of who the world and really calls Jesus. I had to put emphasis on that because that is the name, and that's the one and only true name. The, the Most High, his name is Yahweh, and who our Savior is. Who the world literally calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. They only have one name. But I, I also wanted to mention that this video is only for the Israelites. And the Israelites who you call today so-called black people, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American, um, so-called Cuban, Puerto Rican, ja Jamaican, Haitian, Dominican, um, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Those are the Israelites and I always have been. And uh, I always have been. Um, but I'm coming back at y'all with this video today, a very important video um, on uh, end time headlines. Um, you know, I always do videos based off, you know, of end time headlines. As y'all can see what it says, you know, it says YouTube will now remove all abortion misinformation, zero tolerance. If it doesn't fit the narrative, it will be removed. Right. And, uh. This is a this is the future, man. You know, this is the future, man. Every everything, you know, pretty soon, you know, um, that they don't want you to talk about and that that that's that's not on par with what they want you to talk about. Hey, you know, you're gonna be out of there, man. You know? You're gonna be out of there. And and the scriptures speak of this. This is uh Amos chapter eight and verse eleven. It says, Behold, the day is come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing of the words of the Lord. You see? So this famine is a spiritual famine, you know, talking about hearing the words of the Lord. But specifically, this video is talking about them, you know, removing, you know, uh, all, you know, abort abortion misinformation, which is basically anything that speaks out against, you know, the government and stuff. It's, they call it misinformation. You know, if you don't agree with what they preach and what they teach, you know, they, they call it misinformation because you got to agree with what they agree with. You know, you got to do what they say, period, point blank. You know, and uh, shoot, what we, what we preach and what we teach, you know, it's definitely going against their status quo and their agenda. So what do you think they're going to do with everything else? You know, they're going to take the videos down. They're not even going to allow you to even post it, you know, or they'll take it straight down as soon as it. Your video get done uploading and processing. You know. Um, they're going to take it straight down. You ain't even going to have time to even have somebody watch a video or comment on it or like it or nothing. You know. They they own it. You know. This is just talking about abortion. But, um, you know, this is just a prelude of, of things to come. And now, for you Israelites out there that's, that's lukewarm in this thing, man, and y'all playing around and, you know, Y'all thinking that you, you have forever, you got time. No, you don't got time. Time is not on your side. You know, time is not on your side. The days are moving. The days are speeding up. All the prophecies are happening. You know, you got uproars. You got protests. You got uh, people rioting, people chasing down their governors, their kings and princes and going to their houses. And they're doing, this, they're doing this in every country, man, besides America, you know. And then they bring in the, the army and, and, and uh, basically... Having them uh, have to have like a, you know, a, a pass, not a passport, but a QR code and, you know, all these different things, man. They, because they, they bring in that NWO, they come in with it, man. They ain't stopping. They going full force. You know, and America next, man. Babylon the Great, you know, it's next. I'm going to get this in, uh, what is it, Isaiah 55 and 6. Because right, we don't, we don't have a lot of time left, man. You know. We don't we don't have a lot of time left. You know, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse one. 
It says, uh, ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. This waters is the truth, this truth. It says, and he that hath no money, come ye and buy and eat. Right, get this understanding, get fed. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Right, you ain't got to buy this truth. Well, of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to make a joke out of it. Not really, but, you know, according to some camps, you do got to buy it because they be selling breakdowns. But, you know, really, you don't have to buy it, you know. It says, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, right? You, you know, you spend your physical money on all these other things. You spend your time on all these other different philosophies and, you know, these different um ways, you know, that's not going to get you anywhere. It ain't the truth. It says, and your labor for that which satisf satisfieth not. That's really what that's talking about when it says money. It says, because it, it don't satisfy you. It's not, it's not going to help you in the times to come. It's not going to save you, right? It says, hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, which is this truth. It says, and let your soul delight itself in fatness, right? This truth is fatness, right? You know, you, you get salvation, you know, hey, the, the Lord looks like you, you know, may, maybe you could be part of the elect, because all of our people ain't going to be saved on this first go around, man. It's only the elect. Two-thirds of our people will be destroyed when our Lord comes back, you know? I'm going to read verse 3. It says, incline your ear. Which means, you know, listen, it says, and come unto me here and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Right. Hey, we not right now. You know, we're not in the new covenant. And I, I probably got I probably going to do a video on that because I remember I seen um, some some dudes. They was making it. They made a video basically saying that we was in a new covenant. And uh, it was probably like a week or two ago. And I ain't really got around to it yet. Um, you know. But hey, everything's at the Lord's will, you know, and uh, maybe I, I I will make a video on it, maybe I won't, you know, but um, that's going to be the sure mercies of David because, you know, uh, if you don't know what David did, you know, he committed adultery and, and the Lord still, you know, ultimately forgave him and uh, gave him an everlasting kingdom, you know, and that's, that's what the Lord's going to do with all Israel eventually, you know. But um, I'm going to um, read verse 4. It says, Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people and a leader to, and a leader and commander to the people. Right, King David. You know, the scriptures say um, the Lord is going to raise up the tabernacle of David, meaning the house of David in these last days. It says, verse 5, it says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that know not thee shall run unto thee because the Lord Yahweh for the Holy One of Israel for he have glorified thee right and this is the point you know verse 6 but I just want to you know read up it says seek ye the Lord while he may be found and call ye upon he uh, call, call ye upon him while he is near right you know before you know they completely shut down YouTube and shut down the internet and all this stuff hey man get this word while, while it's hot man you know when food's on the stove when it's about to be done and, you know, and it's freshly done, it's going to be hot. You don't want your food when it's cold, because then it's going to be nasty, right? You know, you want this word while it's hot, you know? Hey, let me get this in verse 7. It says, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord. So, right, hey, you got to come out of those ways. You got to seek righteousness, seek meekness, you know? Do what the Lord commands you to do, you know? Keep his commandments to the best of your ability. That's not going to save you, but, it, you know, it will, you know, give you, um, how should I say, uh, grace in the eyes of the Lord. It says, and I will have mercy upon him and to our, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. You see, that's all you gotta do. You gotta forsake those wicked thoughts, forsake your, you know, your wicked ways and, and the Lord will receive you. Right. But, um, I'm gonna get this in, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12. It's like you. It says, uh, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, right? While you're young, while you still have time. It says, um, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Because, right, there's going to be a time to where the Lord is going to be completely hid from the earth, man. His spirit is going to be withdrawn from the earth, you know? And only the elect is going to have that spirit, you know? While the sun or the light or the moon 
or the stars be not darkened, right? And, you know, those are, um, that, that represents light, you know, right? While you still have the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding accessible to you, you need to seek it. It says, no other clouds will turn after the rain. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, right? They're going to, you know, a lot of these strong men, you know, uh, these, uh, these keepers of the house, these Edomites, a lot of them are uh, bound themselves. They they uh, resign from their companies. They go into their bunkers. You know, it says in the grinders cease because they are few, right? You got a lot of jobs closing, a lot of jobs. You know, they they easing up on their rules. It says, and those that look out the windows be darkened, right? Looking out the window, looking for a, a, a future, you know? There ain't no future, you know? So, so now is the time to seek the Lord, man, for they completely... Shut this thing down, man. We we need a time to where this is any day now. Literally. You know? This is any day now. You know? I'm going to get this in the... I'm going to go back to the book of Isaiah chapter 34. And verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. No, none shall want her mate. From my mouth that had commanded and his spirit that had gathered them. Right. You know, none of these prophecies is going to fail. And everything in the, in the scriptures is true. Ain't nothing false. Ain't nothing fake about it. You know, it's going to lead you into, into salvation. You know, this is the only way. Yahweh you know, is the way. Can't do it by yourself, Jake. You know, you got millions of brothers, you know, making videos daily. You know, when I'm at the plantation, I listen to brothers' videos. So lucky for that. Um... You know, brothers be putting up three, four, five videos a day. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, hey, man, that's, hey, they on fire, man. You know, they on fire. That's what we supposed to be on. We supposed to be on fire. For you, how about Shemiel and Shah, man? Because, you know, uh, you know when that, that, that wrath come, all hell break loose. Jacob Shah will pop off. And you ain't going to have no internet. There ain't going to be no power. You know, all hell is going to be breaking loose. You know, you ain't going to have... Uh, you know, you ain't going to have the protection from Esau Edom no more. Well, we ain't going to depend on Esau Edom because it says, uh, and that day they shall not lean upon him that smote them. I'm paraphrasing the scripture that it says in Isaiah. But the elect is not going to lean on him at all. You know, they're going to completely depend on you. How about Shemiah and Shai when all hell breaks loose? You know, and right now is the time to get this information, man. So you'll have those things, man. I'm going to get those in the, I'm going to get this in the book of Isaiah 33 and verse, uh, Six and I'll probably, cl probably close out. It says, uh, and wisdom and knowledge sh shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. You see? So that's why you gotta get, that's why you gotta get this knowledge, you know, while it's 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 still accessible to you. You can't be waiting, man. You know, because they're moving fast. You know, they're not just doing this with this abortion stuff. You know, they're doing this with everything that, that you go against, you know, that they're pushing. But um, I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Krakadash, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elected nation of Israel. So y'all say Shalom. I'm going to say Wah 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 Wah.